Hey, good weekend, everybody. How are you all doing? You got Lyle here for my weekend shave. Still going with No Shave November. I'm going strong. I am going to be, make this. I will get it. I'll make November 31st for sure, or 30th. Somewhere in there. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Hope you've been safe. Hope you're enjoying your time with your family and your friends, and you're having wonderful shaves. So for today, we're going to do something a little different, guys. Yes, we're just going to be doing trims and cleanups still. You guys can see all my gray. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use a sample today I've had for quite a while, if you can see that. Uh, a little beat up. But it's purely skinful handmade essentials, Fougere Luxe. Uh, this was back in... Linda made this in the Deer Tallow and Aloe Shaving Soap base. I just looked now. It is in the Beef Tallow base. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. Still an excellent base. And we'll talk about the scent as we go here. But I am going to, because of this sample, be on uh, just about one ounce. It's a fair size from Linda. I'm going to do a face lather. Kind of load it like a shave stick, so I'm going to try here today. So let's let me get some water going here, guys. Sorry, I need some heat. <laughs> It doesn't have to be hot, hot, but I don't want freezing cold water on my face today. So I'm just going to rub this into the areas I want to shave. We'll see how this goes. I haven't... Uh... I haven't done a face lather in a long time. And definitely not since the beard's been grown. Or at least a complete face lather. So hopefully I can build a decent lather here today. That should be good. Looks like there's a lot there. Get all the slickness off my hands here. All right, and for today's brush, I'm going to use a Frugal Shave 24 millimeter uh, 3D printed Star Wars that super handle with the blood knot. I've had this soaking for a long time, too long. Don't want to soak a uh, synthetic, right? But I just kind of left it in there. Oh, getting soap all over the glasses already. I don't think the beard's going to like this. Don't know if you guys have used Linda's bases. It's been a while since I used it on camera. It's a good product, very uh, good performance all around. Usually somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, medium to medium light scents for most of them that I've tried to find. This one is an older sample, so the scent's pretty, pretty low. Get it going here. I'm just going to ease up on the pressure I'm putting on my skin. I just found I was bearing down there a bit. Don't want to do that. I'll give you brush burn. I said, guys, since I've done the face lather, I've never done just a basically a neck lather.
sort of sad day here, which is odd for me to do a shitty video. I have a really busy day tomorrow and I can think about getting it in. So I skipped the live. I do leave a Canadian group today to get this in. Okay, I think I'm going some over lathering here. Uh, I'm starting to feel my skin's not the happiest with brushing all the time. Um, so we're going to stop. And like CDB was talking about the other day, and I don't know why I wasn't doing this, but painting strokes is a good way to make a lather and minimize chances of irritation. If you're not scrubbing into your skin. That is a lot of soap in that beard, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, it'll be fine. I'm sure this will be fine. Let's put it on that stand for now. Didn't bring my bowl in or anything. Clean some of this mess up. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, like I said, I hope you're getting great shaves. Hope you're safe. I don't know what it's like where you are. The COVID numbers seem to be on the rise here. Um, makes things a little interesting in life, that's for sure. So, past that, got a little drama going on in my family, as it is. Um, today we're using the ale, guys. Beautiful Blades, Alejandro in Canada here. Um, actually, Marion the Barbarian, really cool dude. I got some fun videos. He just got a nail recently um, in a shipment. And he had Randy, the first Canadian, put the edge out in that and a few other blades. Go check it out. Uh, I think MTB is pretty happy with it. <laughs> Let's go with the grain. This is a smile, curved blade of it makes the, keeping the straight lines a little more tricky, I find, but. A little patience and you get there. So I was just saying some st stuff going on in our family. My uncle's not doing well. Um, he's in an assisted care home. Uh, I think he had a mild stroke a little while ago and now, um, he had like a bed sore on his feet and it's got infected. Don't know why they didn't do more about it before. But, uh, they've had to take him to the hospital for the weekend by ambulance. Um, I think it might be going septic into his blood and they're keeping them for the weekend to see what happens or what's going on. My mom has dealt with this nurse many times before. And uh, that nurse's opinion, my uncle's just giving up on life. He doesn't want to eat. He doesn't want to do anything. So my mom's a real wreck right now. I'm trying to help her out, but she's three hours away. So And get, do the good old COVID. Lockdowns right now because everything's on the rise again. Because people can't socially distance, they have to go to parties, they have to do all this shit. Sorry, I'm a little upset about that because it's causing my family a lot of grief right now. Um, we can't even go see him. My mom can't even go see her own brother. His daughter's kid can't even go see him. So he's alone. Probably scared out of his mind. Doesn't know where he is, probably. Only people he re I think people he recognizes typically is my mom and his kids.
depth perception on these glosses isn't good. There you go. Especially on the sides, I should say. So anyway, sorry about that rant, you guys. You guys have to do about my family's troubles, I guess. <laughs> just saying. Just want to show an example of if you believe in COVID or you don't believe in COVID or you think it's whatever, a conspiracy therapist, it's real, guys. And if it doesn't affect you directly, it can affect you in other ways. Um, so I've had family members with it. And now I have family members who need family support, but the family can't see them because of the new restrictions that are put on it, society, due to the rise in the numbers. I'll tell you, no one wants to be stuck in the house all the time, not going out seeing their buddies doing stuff. More than me. I'm sick of it. I'm done. But I do it. I wear my mask. I do all that crap because... Other people need me to. I may need me to, but I do it because other people need me to. Anyways, I'm ranting. I'm sorry. You guys don't come here to hear crap like that. Um, Product-wise, everything's doing a great job. The scent on this is pretty much gone. The sample's getting pretty old. It's mild right now. I remember it being stronger, guys. Um... As it goes with samples, <laughs> I have too many that are too old that I have not used. So that's uh, problematic for me. But it smells very nice from what I can get. Like I said, I can't get a lot of it anymore. It has a greenness to it, a little bit of citrusy, um, maybe a tad of spice, but it's, eh. it could be what my memory's remembering. Just for the notes, because I never talked about them for you guys. Like I said, this is uh, my samples in the deer tallow base. It's now, I noticed on her website, pushed into the beef tallow. But the set notes, what Linda does is really cool. She writes a nice little write-up on her labels for you. It's clean and fresh masculine blend of bergamot top notes combined with lavender, juniper, wild fern, fir needle, tonka bean, and black pepper. It's a pretty neat scent. Um, I remember really liking it when I first got it. I should have used it more. But it is what it is. I was hoping there'd be more there still when I opened it up. As for the beef base, um, some of the good ingredients that are in beef tallow base are obviously uh, uh, the beef tallow, lanolin, shea butter, and aloe leaf juice. I can put the ingredients up from that one. I'm not going to talk about the ingredients in this deer tallow because it doesn't think you can get it in this scent anymore. I could be wrong. If there is, I'll put it up for you. It's weird to see me just using this for lines. I've been getting a lot of compliments on this beard, which is something I was not expecting. <laughs> a lot of people really seem to like it on me. It 
So it will make it through November for sure. It might make it to Christmas. We'll see. I'm not too sure yet. Get your guys' opinions on that probably next video. Do you still enjoy using the straight for even beard, like the lines on the beard and the neck and the DEs and that? Guess it's just my preference now. Obviously, when I start traveling for work again or vacations or that kind of stuff, straights won't come with me. The DEs will be around or the SEs. Anyways. <laughs> He's got a mouth full of it. It's actually looking pretty, I think. I think it's actually looking pretty good. Not too bad. Perfect. Do a cool water rinse now. Everything did great, guys. Um, all the products so far, wonderful. Uh, Linda's soap provided great slickness, which is what I worry about when I look after. I need that blade to be able to glide and go over my skin without skipping. Um, I'm doing that partial face lather. It seemed to work okay, too. So... Gonna dry this off here a second. And we'll get to the post shave. So now for the post shave, I don't have an action post shave product from Linda for this. Um, to try to think of another green, kind of fresh, fruity, little bit of brightness to its scent I could use. They're not exact matches by any means, but I love this one too. So we're gonna use Highland Springs Soap Co. Green Door. keep within the same kind of idea of the soap or the scent, but large diff, uh, largely different twists on them. So I said, from my memory too, like I said, uh, Fougere Lux was hard to smell anymore. I was a little disappointed. I should have used it up sooner. But both of these products, Purely Skinful makes a great soap base. You got three different base options uh, beef, deer, and bear. And Highland Springs has their premium vegan and their beef tallow. And they both make splashes and balms. And any product from either of those two artisans is awesome. You can't go wrong. My opinion. All right, so a quick review, guys. I'm sorry about the ranting today. Clean this brush off for a second for you. And uh, I apologize if my rant upset you. So for review, <laughs> soap sample today was purely skinful of Hoosier Lux in the deer tallow base. It's only available in beef tallow now, it looks like from online. Um, both are excellent bases. They perform well and they do all the job you want it to do. And as you can tell, they lather pretty easily. If I had more, if I wasn't worried about the beard, it probably would have been better. 
um, brush today for making the lather. My frugal shave 24 millimeter blood knot, 3D printed Star Wars lightsaber handle. Water from the Star Wars Stormtrooper mug. And the blade was the formidable, wonderful ale. Nine eighths, it's probably about half a hollow, maybe a little bit more. Beautiful, beautiful blade, slight smile to it. And it performs wickedly. So thank you for watching. Let me know below what you guys think of Purely Skimful. Um, any of you guys looked at ale blades, have ale blades, your opinion on them. Check out MT, uh, Marion the Barbarian on MTB's vid videos. I'll link them below for you. Uh, when he got his and he shaved with it, it was pretty cool. And I don't know what you guys think about the beer. Should I be keeping it for a while? Should I shave it off again in November? Let's start that conversation. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Hope you guys have a great upcoming week. Stay safe. Happy shaving, everyone. We'll see you soon.